We're here at the kickoff event uh, with Jesse Oates, um, wife of Kevin that's playing in the band. Um, but yeah, she actually won a package and yeah, super exciting. And she's just a super positive person in general. I've seen it a lot, just like interacting. And I just want to know what do you do on a regular basis to try to spread the positive? I think there are two ways that I I can spread the positive. One is believing that everything I do in my life is working towards something for the greater good, whether that's that's huge. That's huge. Deciding to do something with my life that's more about the community gain than personal gain. But then also I think the main thing about spread the positive is the little things that you do every day. The when you take your dog for a walk, smile at the person you're walking by, the having that community interaction, the neighborhood feel, whatever that moment is that you can make a difference in one person's life, those interactions. <laughs> standing O, standing O for Jesse. Those Jessie. small interactions Go a long build way. and build yeah, and build yeah. to create something much more amazing. Usually it's with my friends <laughs> coming to create events like yeah, this. It's kind of, I'm really proud that a lot of my friends have gone into this kind of this field of do good work for yeah. lack of a better term. It's pretty um, accurate. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying. <laughs> I've actually had something I've been trying to incorporate uh, okay. into my nightly routine, which I think I saw it on a TED talk, but it really stuck I with like me. It, it was uh, mm -hmm. every night before you go to bed, and you can journal this if you have nobody to share it with, but it was name three things that you're thankful for, yep. no matter what. Um, kind of helps you refocus on the good exactly. in your days instead mm -hmm. of the bad. And it's three things you're thankful for, um, the best moment of your day. So if you're journaling, write about it in detail because it kind of yeah. takes your brain to that place of reliving it. Yeah. And then do one good deed for a person every day. So I'm, I'm been trying to work. <laughs> Hey, I couldn't have drawn that answer out better. That was that was textbook. Thank you. We're at the kickoff event uh, with my man Scott Linton, Kevin Quinn, two of my best boys from high school. Man, shout out North Buncombe 05. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> right. Right. the Blackhawks. But uh, I just wanted to do a quick little question session with both y'all. Uh, Scott, I know you have a pretty pretty demanding job. You're out. The kids and uh, on a really rigorous, you know, program. Yeah. How do you how do you spread the positive on a regular basis? Oh man, uh, just little stuff. You know, as a, I think as a leader, it's really important to, uh, in, if you're in a leadership role to, uh, you know, just be able to project that onto your to your to your students. It could be something as you know, singing some songs in the morning to ease them. Ease tension. Or, yeah, yeah, ease tension, or you know, just make jokes with them, especially yeah. if the weather's turning bad or something like that. Just, yeah. Um, yeah, it's really funny, like, you know, just hearing a lot about you guys, and it helps me, you know, thinking that, too, and something I can use in my yeah, just professional, like, hey, man, hey, that's yeah, not only, in my professional, <laughs> not only in my professional life, but my personal life yeah, Absolutely, as well. man, I appreciate that, that's yeah. an awesome answer. KQ, same question, man, just on a regular, just on a regular basis, what do you do to spread the positive? Well, uh, my job right now is, is uh, in the IT department at work, and I'm, I'm the only IT guy, but you know, constantly people are, are frustrated with, with their, their gadgets. Yeah, their, <laughs> their technology <laughs> is failing them. And, you know, they get frustrated. And, you know, the best way to approach that or any situation is, you know, with a positive attitude because that totally determines how anybody's going to react in the future. Exactly. So I, I've really, I've noticed that, you know, as, you know, I've seen people kind of immediately throw their arms up and, and they want to give up. And, you know, I come kind of, Try to come to him with a comforting. Yeah, you, <laughs> like, you know, stay me, calm. Okay. How do you try to do that on a regular basis? <laughs> it definitely does require effort. Yeah, for sure. It definitely has to be a conscious thing. Um, I go days where I can be negative, and I I get exactly what I give to people. If exactly. I'm looking at someone, I'm going, I'm gonna get that right back. Yeah. And you know, it's a dead of winter, and everyone's in like the most like, Ugh. <laughs> I know. you know. Like, but yeah. it's like in this time where I feel like if you just engage people more and kind of be like, hey, well, yeah. and you look at them, you try to just show them like, hey, I'm human too, and I'm not just walking by you without seeing you. I see you. 
yeah. and it just takes symbol, something as simple as eye contact yeah. and just like even wow. as simple as like a nod or just anything is yeah. like very like you said from the beginning it's very simple it's very simple hard.